All right, it has been some time. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Gotten a lot done. What I've got here, of course, are some windows. These are some old windows that, uh, they're just old windows, basically. I scavenged some of them. I think uh, some of these were from the house. When they put the new windows in, they saved some of these, and we're wondering how many of these to keep. So I have scraped these down on one side, and I am going to uh, touch this up a little bit because well, I can show you my stencils here. What I did was I made just some six cardboard templates that I can just tape to the sides and I'm hopefully just gonna spray paint some paint or some enamel over here so I can get that all at once. Again, they're old windows, so I'm not that worried about them. You can see that some of the caulking here has come missing and it gets brushed off and that kind of stuff. And uh, basically all I really want to do is just to seal up this wood so it's not gonna completely rot over the winter because I'm, you know, I'm putting these outside. I'm gonna hope to make a little bit of a greenhouse and some um, cold frames with it. And I might try and do something to seal that a little bit too. I might have uh, some polyurethane or just brush some paint in there. So that's my project here at least. And I will post my updates there. Oh, and I did this so that um, exactly I could have a template. And so I didn't have to tape around every single individual window um, and, you know, use a paintbrush and try and keep it on the tape. This way, I'm hoping to just psh, 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 spray that and then I can take these off, plop them on the next window and uh, do it like that. So hopefully that little bit of extra time I spent cutting these out will pay off and uh, it will save me some time a little bit later on. So cross our fingers, <laughs> cross your fingers for me there. Oop, there we go. I may as well show you this too. These are my feed buckets here. So pellets and um, I get a, a mix of non-GMO uh, feed and I keep them in these buckets now. And over here we have some mouse poops. So here is then the little trap to help take care of this mouse problem. You can see that they're already munching away at that. These mice have been in here a little while. So they got into some of my hay that I was using, uh, straw rather, for bedding. And here's more mouse poops on the carrier that I use for my little clinic when I need to. For the chickens, if they are sick or something, or picking on somebody, they need a little timeout, that's their little timeout booth. I'll bring that out and find a spot for it. So I was actually, I was just leaving my feed bag in here, and that was enough protection, I thought, keep it out. But then it didn't take too long, and I found little holes on the bottom of the feed bag and found I was missing feed and found a lot of mouse poops. So there's that. <laughs>